Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I wanna talk about a couple stories. One of them is really big, uh, but real quick, Qualcomm now seeks for the iPhone XS and iPhone XR to be banned for sale in China uh, amid their legal battle. And they've already got like the iPhone 6, 6S, uh, 7. Actually, I think it's 6S, 7, 8, and 10 are all blocked for sale in China and for import uh, because of this stuff. But now Qualcomm's going after um, the 10S and 10R. I don't know if it's gonna go through or not. Now this one's pretty cool. Costco begins selling select Max on web at 50 to $200 discount. Uh, there were some other uh, discount sites as well, uh, if I can find it. I'm just gonna make a video going over some deals for the Mac because uh, there's a lot of them coming around this holiday season and a lot of you guys are wanting to buy them. Like my other videos on the Macs are really doing well and I wanna give you guys the best prices that I can find. Stay tuned if you wanna see that maybe this weekend uh, and we'll see if we can get that done for you. Now here's the big story of the day. Intel unveils the next gen Sunny Cove processors and graphics uh, appropriate for 2019 Macs. So this isn't like confirmed that this is what they're gonna use. However, um, this is pretty much what they're gonna use. I mean, Intel shows their roadmap for their new chips uh, long before they actually produce the, uh, before Apple produces the computer. So this gives Apple time to plan for it. This microarchitecture is built on a 10 nanometer process and will be the basis for Intel's next gen core and Xeon processors later next year, according to the company, making them appropriate for potential 2019 models of the MacBook, MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, iMac, iMac Pro, Mac Pro, and Mac Mini. So this is pretty much across the board here. Um, they also unveiled their Gen 11 integrated graphics with a double the performance of its Gen 9 graphics paired with the Skylake processors. It will support 4K video streams, 8K content creation in constrained power situations, and feature Intel's adaptive sync technology for smoother gaming. Basically what this means, if you get a MacBook with integrated graphics, it's going to be much better than what it is now. However, if you're a professional, you already know to get the 15-inch MacBook Pro uh, so you can get that discrete graphics dedicated card. I don't know if I said dedicated before. I meant integrated if I did, whatever. You want the dedicated or discrete one. So as you can see right here, I've got um, mine set in discrete only right now um, because it's the Radeon Pro 560X and I was playing some games. That's why I have it set to that. But um, yeah, this is exciting news. Uh, we will of course, you know, follow this and see if there's any changes. Intel's roadmap sometimes change a little bit uh, throughout the year. They also are known to push things back a little. So I'll keep you guys up to date, but this is looking cool. If you're holding off for a 2019 Mac, maybe, just maybe, they'll put this in the new iMacs. Doubt it, but they released the iMac, you know, in early 2019. I don't think they'll have this chip in them, but maybe later on, maybe midway through, uh, we might be able to see some of these. But we'll see what Intel decides to push out with this. And uh, that's all I got for this one, guys. If you liked it, hit a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.